Hey, I'm 12 weeks and two days, and I wanted to do an update on uh, my last, let's see, my last video. Um, I kind of caught, caught you up from, I think it was six to 10 weeks, but I wanted to do a video explaining um, the type of doctor visits I've had. Well, I've actually only had one, um, and that was yesterday. I went to a genetic counselor. Um, I'm considered high risk, at least so far in this pregnancy, just because of my past. And my doctor did it that way so that my insurance will cover, um, you know, some more genetic type testing that if you're not considered high risk, my insurance probably wouldn't pay. So, and um, I, I told you about last time, the one blood test that I got, it was the maternity 21, yeah, maternity 21 test, and that tests for chromosome, or that, that tests for chromosome problems on um, chromosome 13, 18, 21, and the sex chromosomes. And um, so I had that done, and then I also met with, that was, a couple weeks ago and then I, I met with a genetic counselor yesterday and she said that with three losses in my past um, the first two are unexplained because we don't know why I had the losses and the noise that you hear is is Trey playing with um, my change in my car he likes to put it from one side of the cup to the other side um, but what was I saying uh, trying to multitask here um so the genetic counselor oh said that with the first two losses we don't know oh, why okay. and so she wanted to go through my history and see what i was tested for um to see possibilities and why it happened and we found that i wasn't tested for a lot of things um i i have had the lupus not the lupus uh, yeah i did have I think I had a lupus test years ago, um, but I've had questionable results on the anticoagul wait anti oh no antiphospholipid. I've had um, numbers come back that weren't quite high enough to diagnose as having it, but it was still there. So that's why when I was pregnant with Trey, I took baby aspirin the whole pregnancy. Um, and with this one, I'm doing the same until we. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Um, someone's got a runny nose. <laughs> Say hi. Yeah. Um, so he wants to he wants to get in, but um so she wanted to test for different genetic things that could you know be related to any type of blood clotting disorders um, and oh the test that I did have was cystic fibrosis I've had that one done before that was I'm not a carrier so I don't have to worry about um, that one because you need both both partners um, the sperm and the egg need to come from carriers um, to pass it on to end up having cystic fibrosis and then the other test that I did have, um, I had the karyotyping. Now my karyotyping came back normal, 46 chromosomes, normal female. Um, but I think the test that I just got done yesterday goes into more details. Now, my understanding, I haven't had a chance to really research a lot of this. Um, Trey's been very difficult. As you can see, the runny nose. I think he's going to start teething his um, two-year molars. He teethes for months at a time. So, um, But he starts sneezing and sneezing and getting a runny nose. And he doesn't sleep and fights sleep more than he already does. Um, so I haven't had a second to really, really get into detail on it on the internet. What? But... Um, this blood test that they did yesterday is called Inherigen. I believe it's called Inherigen Plus. And that tests, I believe, 164 um, 
164 different, what's the word? Autosomal, I think, autosomal genes. I think that's what it is. Um, and it tests wow, for fragile X. Sorry, I should have had it. I don't have the pamphlet with me. And there's two other things that it tests for. Um, but along with those. And, and so what I think it is, is going to detail in each of those 46 chromosomes to see if there's little pieces or, or um, like something that is so tiny that the karyotyping test doesn't pick up. It doesn't go into that much detail that I think this test does. And then they can see if they're if I'm a carrier for diff a bunch of different um, like different disorders. And then what happens if I am a carrier for one of them? Then we have to get my husband tested. Um, hopefully his insurance will pay for it. I think if your insurance isn't covered, it doesn't pay for it. Um, they will give you a reduced rate. The lady made it sound like it was reduced 200, but then she kind of made me feel like an idiot when I was like, oh, so then how much is it? Because she said reduced 200, not reduced to 200. Um, so anyway, she, she made it sound like it was only $200 out of pocket if a reduced rate for people who don't have insurance for that coverage or don't have insurance, period. And so um, hopefully we don't have to get to that. But if I am a carrier for something, then my husband should get um, tested and then if he's a carrier of the same thing then from there we can make the decision if we want to do an amnio um, to make sure that the baby is okay um, not that I would ever do anything about it but just so that we know and anything that I've said this before that we can you know with Trey's pregnancy I had an amnio um, just so we can prepare if there's any specialists that you know I've seen specials on TV of doctors being able to like fix something that's wrong with the baby while the woman was still pregnant with the baby. So I'm the type of person that if that was, if my child has something like that, I will research and find, if I have to travel out of state, I will find the best doctor and um, beg them to help. So anyways, um, I'm the type of person that I would rather know than not know, I guess, and find out later. I don't know. Um... So anyways, we're doing that, and hopefully we don't have to go that far into it. Um, I have my NT scan tomorrow, which that is testing for pretty much the same things that I've already had that first blood test for. Um, I believe it's the 13, 18, and 21, like the nasal bone, the neck thickness, just different markers that they'll check. And... Um, if everything looks good with that, and then I am going to have, and the blood tests come back normal, then I'm going to have a level two at, she said at 18 weeks, um, which is, I believe that's just what everyone calls the anatomy scan. Um, if everything looks normal on that, then I will, they'll have me come back. I think she said six weeks later at 24 weeks. And that will most likely be the last ultrasound if everything goes well. Um, so that's kind of where we're at right now. And um, I'm still nauseous. Today I'm having a good day. It's not as bad today. So hopefully maybe, you know, maybe because the, I don't know, depending on if you consider first trimester over at 12 weeks or over at 13 weeks in a few days. Um, I do the 13 weeks in a few days, but maybe my body just realizes that I'm getting close to that point that I don't know. It just could be one of those days that I'm just lucky. <laughs> But um, I still have nausea today, but not nearly as bad. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see after I eat. Um, most likely a Greek salad tonight. If not, we'll eat it tomorrow. Um, all right. I guess that's everything. I will update you once I get some results back. And fingers crossed that everything comes back normal and we don't have to do any more testing. And I can just relax and not have to worry. Um and we'll go from there. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one, bye.